Boeing said Rosie will be connected to sensors and gather data on how she reacts to G-forces during the flight. Rosie is believed to have been inspired by a woman named Naomi Parker Fraley. She worked at the Alameda Naval Station during World War II. Hopefully, Rosie has some better weather than all the years. It's been cold recently. Yeah, yes. and if you thought it was cold here, uh, cold weather and some crazy <laughs> snowfall happened in New York City today. Check out this video. This was shot of a snow squall hitting New York City. It went from clear conditions to whiteout conditions, and we've seen snow squalls in the Miami Valley time and time again. And they come in, they reduce visibility very quickly, perhaps down to near zero, put a light coating of snow down, and then you're dealing with some slick conditions. Conditions. Saw a lot of videos on social media of this snow squall coming in. Very great footage. I just wanted to show that to you. If you want to take another glimpse at it and share the video, I've posted it over on my Twitter account. Here's a look at our radar conditions out along the East Coast. You can see with that northwesterly wind, snow showers continuing through New York into Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Also creating some lake effect snow showers up in Oswego, New York, where my sister is. She just had a baby a few days ago. My parents are up there. My mom's just complaining about all the snow. Not dealing with that here in the Miami Valley. Winds are more westerly, so we have uh, dry conditions ushered in with high pressure. Temperatures are also falling quickly tonight because of those clear skies. Take a look outside right now. You can see we have snowpack still on the ground. That's because temperatures didn't warm up too much today. We only got into the 20s, and uh, although we did see some sunshine, it wasn't enough to help melt that snow quite yet. We're at 15 degrees right now. Feels like 8 degrees because of a very, very light breeze at five miles per hour. These winds will die down even more as we head through the night, so that's good when you're talking about the wind chill factor, but once you see those temperatures falling into the single digits tonight, any little breeze is going to make it feel that much colder. Here are our current wind chills across the Miami Valley. It feels like five degrees in the city of Dayton. It feels like three degrees out in Springfield. It feels like seven degrees out in Greenville. For tonight, your overnight low, this is the actual air temperature, falls to 9 degrees. Again, winds are going to die down. They relax, but a 4-mile-an-hour wind, that could make it feel like zero, if not below zero at times. So think about that as you're planning your day tomorrow, specifically in the morning. Also, with the winds calm, you're likely going to have that thin layer of frost on your windshield. So give yourself an extra few minutes to get out there and scrape the ice off or turn the, the windshield heater on so you can melt that frost away before you hit the roads. When you're on the roads, though, no problems as far as the weather is concerned, and that will be the story all day long. We'll have plenty of sunshine from sunrise through sunset. Highs tomorrow afternoon, a little bit better than today, and actually a little bit closer to normal. We'll get up to about 35 degrees when typically our average high should be around 37 degrees. Winds will pick up a bit, not too windy, but enough that it will give us wind chills in the 20s for the afternoon. Now, tomorrow is the coldest day over the next five days. Notice we get to nearly 40 degrees on Friday. Then we're into the lower 40s to middle to upper 40s as we head through the weekend into the early part of next week. So we go from below normal to above normal as we get into your Christmas week. And that's not going to be any good news if you're someone that was hoping for a white Christmas. So Christmas Day is a week away from today. Long-range precipitation chances are very low right now. I'm not seeing much in the way of a storm system that will bring us any precipitation. If it did, it would also time up with warmer than normal air, which means if it fell, it would be liquid precipitation rather than snowfall. So right now, I'm saying we have little to no chance for a white Christmas, and the snow we have on the ground is going to melt by then. And that's because of the sunshine and warm temperatures in this five-day forecast. Notice, as I mentioned, temperatures rising even each and every day, we will stay dry through the upcoming weekend. Highs near 50 degrees on Monday. Could hit 50 degrees, but we'll call it upper 40s as we look towards Tuesday. Be sure to tune in tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Kersey Zantini is going to be up at 425, and she's going to show you just how frigid those temperatures are as you head out the door. With Christmas a week from today, people need to hurry up and get their packages in the mail if they hope to get them there by Christmas. First class mail must be sent by December 20th. Priority is the 21st. And December 23rd is the cutoff date for Priority Mail Express. Keep in mind, Postmaster said these are expected dates. It was a historic night for one high school sport here in the Buckeye State. And what made this match so special and what only two other competitions in the country have in common with it? Storm Center 7, always tracking, alerting you to severe weather.